How great, how how great, how great is your stand? How great, sing with me. And how great, how great, how great is our God? How great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great is our God? How great, how great. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. This is Armageddon News. Daniel literally said, the kingdom of the Antichrist would be an Arab kingdom. The Bible describes another figure, called the false prophet. He will likely be seen as a religious leader. He is described as having lambs, horns. The Bible says he will rise from the earth or land. Which is in contrast to the beast, who rises from the sea, of Islamic nations. The opposite of the sea, is the earth. And the earth is actually a reference to the land of Israel. So this second kingdom, will rise from the conquered parts of Israel and Jerusalem. Which is why it's described, as having, two lambs, horns. And it's possible that this false prophet will be Jewish, and may even claim to be Jesus Christ. And he will do false wonders, like bring fire from heaven, which will deceive both Jews, and Muslims. And this false prophet will point to the Islamic Antichrist, declaring him, the true Messiah. And this false prophet, will deceive all into submitting to the Caliph, and his empire. And he will tell those in the Middle East, to set up an image, to honor the revived Islamic empire. And it deceives those dwelling on the earth, because of the miracles which were given to it to do, before the beast. Saying to those dwelling on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast who had the wound by a sword, and lived. The Bible doesn't tell us, what form, this image will take. But it will be built, to honor the revived Islamic empire. And the false prophet, will enable it, to speak. The Bible warns, that if any bow down to this image, of the Islamic empire, they will be cast into hell forever, with the Antichrist. The number 666, can be found in the very seal of the Ottoman caliphs themselves. Their seal is called, the Tugra. It contains both, a Hebrew, and a Greek number 666. The Hebrew 666 consists of the letter, Vau, repeated three times. And right on top of the Hebrew, is found a Greek number 666, which is the letter, Stigma, again repeated three times. Sometimes the caliphs use a pseudonym, next to their name, like Al-Ghazi, meaning the warrior and you can clearly see a 666 in this pseudonym. Indeed the name of the caliph, written in the Tugra, may very well be, the mark of the beast. For it contains both the name of a man, and his number. And also the mark of his empire, the crescent, and star. The Bible, compares the Antichrist, to a star fallen from heaven. Like Lucifer, who fell, and like the very Kaaba stone itself, fallen from heaven. Isaiah 14.12 says, How you are fallen from the heavens, Lucifer, O shining star, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations! The very image of Lucifer, is the star, fallen from heaven. And the Islamic Antichrist, will use a star symbol, as a representation of himself. Which is why, we find the name of the Caliph, in the sun symbol. Because the 666, was a representation of the Sun God. And we know from our studies, that the Sun God is really the serpent, Satan. And by putting the Caliph's name in the Sun, or Star, Satan is declaring the Caliph, to be the 666. So now you know, the Ottoman crest, is totally satanic. For the crescent and star, has been Satan's personal symbol, throughout all of his seven kingdoms. And it's the very star, and crescent symbol, found on the Egyptian golden calf, which was worshipped by the apostate Jews, in the desert. And now this crescent and star symbol, of the serpent Satan, has become the very symbol, of the Islamic empire. The very seal, of every Turkish president, is the eight-pointed, star, which is the very same star used, by Alexander the Great. It's no wonder God calls the Turkish Antichrist, a star, fallen from heaven. 
for that is his very seal. The Greek 666, which is chi, psi, stigma, has also been found, in the Bishmila, which is the name of Allah. And it's also been found again in the Shihada, which is the Islamic confession of faith, which is worn as a badge on the foreheads, by Muslims. The Bible tells of the terrible fate, for those who take the Islamic Antichrist's mark. Whoever worships the beast and its image, and receives a mark on his forehead, or his hand, will drink the wine of God's wrath, which has been poured unmixed, into the cup of his anger. He will be tortured, with fire and sulfur, in the presence of the holy angels, and the Lamb. The smoke from their torture, goes up forever and ever. There is no rest day or night, for those who worship the beast, and its image, or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. So to recap, do not bow down to the caliph, nor swear any oaths of allegiance, to him. Do not take the mark of his name, as a stamp on your forehead or hand. Or wear his mark, as a badge on your forehead or right arm. And do not worship the image which he sets up, even though it speaks and he may be put to death or imprisoned, because of your refusal to bow to it. Rather believe, in God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, for your sins. Call upon his name, and you shall be saved. Only Jesus, has the power to save. His name, is the only one, in all the world that can save anyone. And salvation, is found in no other. So cry out to God today. Ask him to forgive you, of all your sins. And believe in what he did for you on the cross, and you shall be, saved. John 3:16. For God so loved the world, that he gave, his only begotten Son, that whosoever, believes in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Please pray this prayer, today. Father God, I believe that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, for my sins. I believe that he died, and was resurrected, and is coming back to judge the living and the dead. Father, I repent. Please forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart, and make me, your child. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have said this prayer, and decided to turn from your life of sin, and follow Jesus Christ, then you have become a child, of God. Please go and find a born again, Christian church, where you can have fellowship with other believers. Thank you for listening. Please see our other broadcasts, on the end days. This program has no copyright, and may be distributed freely. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.